Guys, this is not clickbait. I gained 10,000 followers in 10 days. Here's the proof. This is really not clickbait. I actually changed my entire filming schedule, my content plan in order to fit this video so that you guys would get the same strategy and implement it for yourself. So if you wanna learn more about it, then keep watching. All right, so first of all, if you're new here, hello, I'm Vanessa. Welcome to my channel. I help you guys get visible using social media and get paid using business strategy. Now, let's talk about my Instagram growth and how I cracked the code to really supercharge my growth on Instagram. So I have it all written here, and that is I used to post five times a week and the reason why I did that is because I already knew that posting more was actually contributing to me getting more followers on Instagram now what I wanted to do is kind of piggybacking on that I was like okay if I'm posting five times a week and I'm getting this type of result going from 1,000 followers per week to like let's say 2,000 followers per week then maybe what I need to do is experiment with posting more per day and so I went from posting five times a week to two to three times per day Monday to Friday and here's what happened also, before I show you what happened, just so you guys know, I was consciously tracking the results because I knew I was changing my strategy so much and I knew that I was gonna do a video on it if it worked and if it didn't work, I would also do a video on it. So I actually took a lot of screenshots. So as you can see, within those 10 days of me going from one post per day for five days a week, so Monday to Friday, one time a day, to two to three times a day, Monday to Friday, I ended up gaining 1,634 followers within that 10 day time frame. And when I started this strategy, my account was at 191,000 followers. By the end of those 10 days, I was at 203,000 followers. Now, because I really wanted to track the effectiveness of this strategy, I looked at the last 10 days before I implemented this strategy, before I implemented posting two to three times a day, so that we're comparing apples to apples. So the 10 days before implementing, I only gained 3,633 followers. So if you actually compare it, I was able to increase my following growth by three to four times by posting two to three times a day. And so that is a significant jump when you go from around 3,500 followers to 11,500 followers in just, you know, changing this one strategy. And so this video, I'm gonna dive into my main observations of what I noticed by posting more. I'm gonna give you the breakdown of what my content plan was during this time. And then at the end of the video, I'm also gonna give you some tips if you wanna implement the same strategy. So let's go. All right, so let me answer the first question. What exactly did I post with those two to three, you know, content pieces per day? It was generally one carousel post and one Instagram reel. And a carousel post would typically look like a quote or it would look like an actual carousel post where a lot of the content was beefed in. And then I would post an Instagram Reels. So for example, if I'm posting only two times that day, it would be one time at 9 a.m. and another time at 12 p.m. or 5 p.m. We were experimenting to see which one performed better, whether it was 12 p.m. or 5 p.m. because from my analytics, we knew for sure 9 a.m. was always gonna perform the best. And then we took like the next two to three best times after that. And that was either 12 p.m. or 5 p.m. Through experimentation, we found that the best times for my account specifically was 9 a.m. and 12 p.m. So 9 a.m. I would either post an Instagram Reels or a carousel, and then 12 p.m. I would either post an Instagram Reels or a carousel. Now, there were also some times where we posted three pieces of content a day. So what that would look like is typically two Instagram Reels and one Instagram carousel. And that was basically the makeup of um, what we posted. Now you might be asking, okay, so what made you decide to post two times a day or three times a day? Day, honestly, it was capacity. It was whether or not my social media manager had the time to even schedule out two posts or schedule out three posts because sometimes with Instagram Reels, there's no way to actually schedule it yet and it's all very manual. So if she had a busier day, she wasn't able to post three. And so typically we stayed consistent with posting two times a day. Now, the next question I wanna answer is what exactly were my main observations of implementing this strategy? Because a lot of people, you guys are afraid of posting more because it might bother your audience, yada, yada, yada. Well, here's what I found that was really interesting. When I ramped up my posting schedule to two times a day or three times a day, what I noticed was that my immediate engagement was a lot lower than usual. It was a lot lower than when I was posting one time per day uh, for five days a week. However, that didn't stop the follower growth. So even though maybe a post had less likes than usual, less comments than usual, because I was posting a lot more, I was actually getting way more followers every single day. 
Not only this, especially with an Instagram reel strategy, the Instagram reels that I posted initially like this had very low engagement. So for example, this screenshot that I have right here is the first day that I posted an Instagram reels and it got significantly less likes than I usually would expect for my size of an account. However, after a week or two weeks, it would then pick up by a lot. And the reason why, and I've mentioned it in many of my videos when I talk about Instagram Reels, is as of right now, Instagram Reels has a much longer shelf life. This is mainly because Instagram is pushing it, and also, it's also on the Explore page. It has a dedicated Explore page on Instagram, and if you actually go through that Explore page, you know, you'll know you notice that not all the Reels that are shown to you are posted in the last 48 hours. Some of them were posted a week or two ago. Even even for me, there are videos that literally go viral after two weeks of me posting, and that also contributes to me having more traffic. So the more Instagram reels that I post, even though I don't get immediate engagement right away, it's actually creating a snowball effect of me having way more reach in the long term, way more likes, way more comments, and way more chances of going viral. Now, moving on to the third thing that I wanna talk about, and that is tips for you if you wanna implement this strategy, because obviously, posting more times a day is going to feel like a lot more work. But as you can see from my statistics, it really paid off. And so I definitely wanna give you guys some tips that you can do right away so that you can successfully implement this strategy like I did. Now, my first tip for you is because you're gonna be posting a lot more per day, you, it's gonna be a lot easier for your audience and your followers to actually miss pieces of content because you're putting so much out. So for example, back then, if you're only posting two to three times a day or one time per day like I was, then the chances of majority of your audience actually seeing that piece of content is a lot higher. Versus if you're posting a lot more during that day, then it's a lot easier for people to miss it because you're posting so much. So what worked for my account is at the end of the week, let's say on a Friday, what we would do is we would recap the most important content pieces or all of the content pieces in our story. Stories. So we'd actually say, hey, let's recap all the amazing content pieces this week. Or let's say, hey, if you're struggling with this, here's this piece of content that I posted on Monday. Uh, if you're struggling with this, or if you identify with this, here's a piece of content that I posted on the Wednesday. And so that way I'm actually reminding my audience of the library of content that I've been posting for the last week. By doing this, I'm able to send additional traffic to my content pieces, but specifically, if you are implementing an Instagram Reel strategy, you also have to keep in mind that whenever you share an Instagram Reels to your story, even if someone doesn't click on that Instagram Reels and instead they watch your Instagram Reels through your stories, that still counts as one view. And so by resharing past stories, and especially knowing that Instagram Reels has a longer shelf life, you're actually adding more fuel to the content pieces that you were originally creating specifically with Instagram Reels. Now the next tip that I have for you, and this is very specific to those of you who are maybe starting out, you're a newer content creator, or maybe you're a part-time content creator, or maybe you don't necessarily have a lot of the infrastructures to be able to post a lot of content, this tip is gonna be perfect for you. And that is if I were to choose between posting more carousel posts or graphics versus posting more Instagram Reels, I would 100% focus more effort on Instagram Reels because you're gonna get more bang for buck and the content lasts you a lot longer because of that longer shelf life. Now. If you have the capacity to be able to do both, I absolutely would do that because for me, I try to keep a good balance, even though right now my content strategy is still maybe like 60% Instagram Reels, 40% carousel posts, I still like to have both. And the reason why, and I've mentioned this in multiple videos, is the fact that Instagram Reels is really good at entertaining and getting you more reach and more traffic to newer audiences. And as you can see from me tracking my analytics, you'll notice that during the time period where I posted more Instagram Reels, I was able to attract millions of eyeballs from my non-followers. So this was actually content that was being seen by people who don't even follow me, which would then contribute to me actually getting more followers over time. Now, that's what Instagram Reels is for. It's really good for traffic. However, you still want to try and do these carousel posts if you can, if you can prioritize it. And the reason why is because this content allows you to go deeper on certain concepts. If you wanna post more educational content, this is definitely the way to go. It also helps you get more sales, more deeper connections, deeper conversations. Um, it allows you to actually show more of your expertise because you can pack more in a carousel. And so that's why I think having both is gonna be very beneficial to the overall health of your content strategy. But but again, if you are a newer creator, you don't have a lot of time, then I would definitely focus on Instagram Reels and prioritize that first. 
Now moving on to the third sound advice that I have for you, and that is if you want to actually successfully be able to post two to three content pieces per day, whether that's Monday to Friday or the whole seven days a week, you really want to make sure that you have a solid content batching system. For example, if you want to hyper focus and take my last advice about you know, really focusing on Instagram reels, especially if you're strapped for time, well, you still need to actually create the Instagram reels, film them and edit them. A huge misconception when people hear about posting more is they don't realize that posting a piece of content is very different than creating the pieces of content. And so I want you to hit the notification bell because this deserves its own video in itself. I'm gonna actually do an update on how I've been able to streamline my workflow when it comes to filming Instagram reels, all the different techniques and hacks that I use to really shorten my time frame and give you my entire workflow. So hit the notification bell because that's going to be my next week's video where I'm going to dive deeper in it. For now, I just wanted to get this content out there so that you guys can understand the mind blowing results of posting more and specifically choosing an Instagram reel strategy, which is what I have been hammering on for the last month with my YouTube videos and with anything that I'm kind of suggesting and sharing on social media in this day and age. Now, before I wrap up this video though, there are two things that I do wanna say. Number one, even though you are upping the quantity of content that you're doing, you also don't wanna compromise on quality. So that's why you definitely wanna hit the notification bell for next week's video because I am going to share some advice that I have for you to keep the quality up while also increasing quantity and that all comes down to systems and workflows. So definitely hit the notification bell so you don't miss it. Number two, to hold you over until next week, did you know that I actually created a free Instagram guide? This guide also covers Instagram Instagram reels among so many other things like hashtags, Instagram bio, stories, everything like that. So make sure you check out the link in my comment section and in my description below to sign up for this free guide and get a copy of it. Now, while you wait for next week's video, I post a lot of videos on social media, marketing and entrepreneurship. So make sure you check out these two videos that I have right here as well. I promise they will not disappoint. Now, I hope you guys have a great day, a great week and a great life. Comment below and let me know what you think about this strategy and if you're gonna try it. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.